Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, you know, the, the place and time that we look at the business model because generally speaking, the canvas is used as a snapshot in time. When you're looking at your business plan, you're planning it for four or five years, something like that, the difficulty becomes in interpreting what are the conditions around each one of these, uh, these years or projections as I move forward. How do I know that the conditions in 2013 are going to exist in the same way? And if they're not, do we have what we need within our business to actually um, to respond to those changes? Are there new opportunities that might arise by doing that? So one of the methods that, uh, that can be used is this idea of strategic foresight. And this is, of course, coming from me as a graduate student. But strategic foresight is a way of taking a look and going beyond the boundaries of what my current focus is, looking at things like signals and outliers and what kind of tendencies may happen within the future. So the important thing about using these ideas, um, and this is not, I, I should say, the business model as you're moving forward, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use foresight, but foresight is one of the, uh, a good framework to take a look at how things will uh, occur in the future. So, you know, the idea is that in 2014, if I take a look at, you know, are these conditions going to be there, if I took a scan of what information we have on the web or access to us, I can start to pick up ideas of what is trending, what are signals of th things that might actually change. Um, what are the underlying drivers that are actually forcing this change to happen? So if we have something like um, you know, a change in, in the economic climate of the, of the world, what's really driving that? What is, at the, you know, what is at the lowest level? And then from there, you can develop these ideas like scenarios. So if the world was like this in 10 years, in one year, however many years you want to look ahead, what does that look like? And then from there, this can help to inform your business model canvas yet again. Right? So that if I'm looking at now in 2014, I can actually sort of position myself there and take a look at, based on all of these um, considerations, I can start to evaluate, does our business model respond to those conditions a year down the road and further and further. Right? And from there, I can test my business plan. I can determine the assumptions that we're running our business under currently. Do they actually help um, uh, uh, manage our, our, our cycle from last year to this year to the next year and so on and so on. So the business model canvas is not only a tool to help you know, figure out which models you want to use, but you can test future conditions and determine does our business actually, is it set up to respond to those? It's a really important thing. So this is from Oscar Wilder's book and he looks at the idea of the business model canvas and the way that we look at business in general tends to be a very short look and in a very sort of compact compression of what our business does. But we have to recognize there are other factors that are influencing this. Our business exists in a la larger system and so how does that system respond and how does it respond in time? So the key thing looking at the business model canvas if you look at the customer segments, this does not preclude you guys from going in and, and really understanding who your customers are. You know, the research and all that information and all the experience and knowledge that you guys have sets you up to make better assumptions about what that customer segment is now and what it could be in the future. So the business model canvas, you know, I could come into your organization as an outsider, someone who is not necessarily a specialist in mobile, and I can take a look at your business in a certain way. But you guys, as experienced, you know, um, you know, uh, very experienced people within your own industry, provide better information to fill out each one of those categories within the business model canvas. And that's what it's really designed to do. Your experience and your understanding of what the current problem is allows you to make better and more uh, informed decisions about how and what is the most appropriate business model for you. So it's really just to say that research becomes a very important part of how you're going to use the business model, not just necessarily today, but in the future. Because um, you're going to take a look at what you have existing within your business plan and how your business plan is structured, and you're going to test those assumptions as you move along. So the difficulty with a business plan is it's, it's, very, it's a very cumbersome tool to change all the time. It takes a lot of time and effort. It's not that it isn't very necessary. It's just the fact that if you want to be flexible in the future and you want to be agile, using the business model canvas allows you to test those things and then as an organization you may have to make the decision do we need to now construct a different 
modified business plan, yes or no. But until you're there, until you actually understand what those conditions are, you may not have all the information you need to say, yes, we need a business, new business plan or no. So that's really, um, uh, that's really you know, what this slide is really trying to show. And my feeling is that foresight is a really interesting way of taking a look at how those additional uh, forces that are influencing your business um, can be interpreted and, and evaluated in a very evidence-based method. There is, uh, if you go to, if you actually type in uh, business model canvas generation or generation canvas, uh, this will come up. There's a book, there's a toolbox, um, iPod app, uh, iPad app, and there's now a new web application as well. And the web application is interesting because it allows for collaboration. So if you have, um, uh, you know, people who are spread across the world, you can all log into that same instance and you can take a look at how this, this uh, um, the business model could um, be a collaborative, um, a collaborative approach, but you don't necessarily have to be physically located in the same place. All right, so I just want to thank you for allowing me to give you a brief introduction in the business model canvas, and if there's any questions, uh, feel free to, to shoot them out. Well, thanks very much.